In the realm of royalty, princes are often considered as an embodiment of power, whereas princesses are seen as the representation of grace, sophistication, and delicacy with ceremonial duties within the royal family. However, there are some princesses in the world who not only hold influential status within their nations, but run the economy of their countries by defying the norms and shattering expectations with their indomitable spirit. But do you know who these princesses are? Probably not. In today's video, we'll bring you the list of the 12 most powerful princesses in the world. So without further ado, let's start. At number 12, we have a royal who is the favorite of many within the British royal family. This is Princess Eugenie, who is currently the 11th in line of the succession to the British throne. She was born in 1990 in London, England, as the younger daughter of Prince Andrew, Duke of York. However, despite coming from a royal family, she doesn't have many public engagements, and even her official duties are relatively limited when compared to those of more prominent royals. But this is because her father, Princess Andrew, wanted her to have a normal career. Because of this decision of her father, she worked hard to get a degree in English literature and history of art. And later, she managed to find a job as an auction manager in reputed art galleries, just like any other person. But it would be unfair to say that this 33-year-old princess doesn't hold any power or influence in this nation. As a member of the British royal family, Princess Eugenie's public appearances, personal style, and life events attract media attention and public interest. For example, her wedding to Jackson Brooksbank in 2018 garnered significant media attention, and her fashion choices are often closely followed by fashion enthusiasts. All this admiration and fan following for the princess provides her certain levels of political power and influence in the nation. For our next, we have Princess Alexandra, who belongs to the royal house of Luxembourg, Nassau. Alexandra Josephine Theresa Charlotte Marie was born February 16, 1991 in Luxembourg City, Luxembourg. She's the fourth child and only daughter of Grand Duke Henry and Grand Duchess Maria Theresa of Luxembourg. Princess Alexandra holds the title of Her Royal Highness and is considered one of the core members of the Grand Ducal Loyal Family. Known for her intelligence, elegance, and dedication to various charitable causes, this princess has become a respected and well-known personality in the nation. However, Princess Alexandra's public life truly began when she made her official debut in 2009 during the country's National Day celebrations. Since then, she's gradually taken on various official duties and engagements, representing the Grand Dulcan family, both within Luxembourg and abroad. However, Princess Alexandra's impact extends beyond her royal status. As a young member of the Grand Ducal family, she's a significant player in promoting Luxembourg internationally, attracting tourism, but posting the nation's economy. Despite coming from a royal family that no longer holds political power, Princess Alexandra has a positive influence on the people of the nation, which may not provide her economic power, but with the love and support of the people of Luxembourg, she holds a greater political power in the nation. At number 10, we have a royal who's known for bringing a fresh perspective to the Belgium royal family. This is Princess Elizabeth, Duchess of Brambon. Born in 2001, her Royal Highness is the eldest child of Felipe and Queen Mathilde. As the firstborn, she assumed the role of Crown Princess in 2013 when her father ascended the throne of Belgium. As a Crown Princess, she actively participated in numerous official engagements alongside her parents, representing the Belgium royal family both domestically and internationally. In 2019, she was just 18 and she delivered her first public speech at the Belgian National Day celebration, which is seen as part of her royal training. Despite her royal obligations, Princess Elizabeth aims for a balanced personal life, devoting equal time to her education and her royal duties. Her ability to strike this balance has earned her admiration from the people of Belgium and Europe, particularly among the younger generation, who view her as a role model. And this popularity of the princess extends even to social media, where she enjoys significant followings. Like many prominent figures, her fashion choices and styles are closely followed by the media and fashion enthusiasts, which only shows a slow but constant increase of her power in the nation and Europe. Next, we have Mary, Crown Princess of Denmark, from the 152-year-old house called the Royal House of Glucksburg. Princess Mary, formerly known as Mary Elizabeth Donaldson, was born February 5, 1972, in Hobart, Tasmania, Australia. Her early life was relatively modest as she grew up in a middle-class family. Mary's life took a remarkable turn when she met Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark in 2000. However, 
She became part of this prestigious royal family in 2004 when she married the prince and got the title of Crown Princess of Denmark. After becoming princess, Mary's presence has brought a fresh and modern perspective to the Danish monarchy. Her background as a commoner resonates with the public, as it symbolizes a more inclusive and relatable monarchy. This approach has helped modernize the image of the Danish royal family and increased its relevance in the eyes of Danish population. All of this helped her to become the face of Denmark royalty on a global stage. Even her diplomatic visits alongside her husband have helped strengthen Denmark's international relations and promoted Danish culture, business, and humanitarian efforts worldwide. Although Mary does not hold formal political power in Denmark, her influence on her nation is beyond her royal title. Moreover, her charisma, intelligence, and unwavering commitment to the public serve as an earned reminder of her widespread respect and her position as a powerful figure within the Danish society. At number 8, we have a princess who is known for her beauty and her independent way of living. This is Martha Louise, princess of Norway from the Royal House of Glucksburg. Princess Martha Louise was born 1971, and she's the only daughter of King Herod V and Queen Sanja. In terms of political influence or formal power, this 51-year-old princess does not hold any official government role, because the Norwegian monarchy is primarily a ceremonial institution, with the king being the symbolic head of the state. However, Princess Martha Louise gained quite significant attention not only for her royal status, but also for her individual pursuits and personal beliefs which make her stand out in the royal family. Her journey to being independent and more connected with life started with the past of self-discovery, where she trained herself as a spiritual healer and focused on her spiritual journey. She focused on the organization Soul Spring starting in 2014, which aims to promote spirituality and personal development. Now she runs her successful business as a healer, where she's making millions with her husband. And this money she is generating by conducting workshops, seminars, and speaking engagements, where she shares her experiences and knowledge with others. While many criticize her for not being actively involved in royal activities, there is a large percentage of Norwegians who support this princess for her hard work and dedication to her unique interest. This support includes the thousands of her followings which give her soft political power in the nation. Next, we have a royal who's known to have great experience in politics. This is Princess of Jordan Haya, Bint Al Hussein, from the royal house of Hashemite. The princess was born May 3, 1974, in Amman, Jordan, as the daughter of King Hussein of Jordan and Queen Alia. She's also the half-sister of the King of Abdullah II of Jordan. The princess of Jordan not only has immense wealth, but she also is well-educated. Mary holds a degree in philosophy, politics, and economics from the esteemed University of Oxford. And this academic background of princess helps her to make significant contributions to the world through philanthropic pursuits. But this princess is known less for her royal status or philanthropy and more for being an equestrian athlete. In fact, she's competed in show jumping, dressage, and endurance riding, showcasing her versatility and expertise across equestrian disciplines. Her most significant achievement came in 2000 when Princess Haya became the first Jordanian woman to compete in the Olympic Games in Sydney, Australia. And due to these achievements, the princess has become a favorite for many Jordanians, and even people of UAE, which is clear from her huge social media fan following. And being coming from a Jordan family that dominates the nation both financially and politically, this 49-year-old princess of Jordan holds a substantial amount of power in the nation. To meet our next powerful royal, we move on from Jordan to Thailand, and this is Princess Siri Vananvari, Nari Ratana, from the royal house of Mahidol. Princess Siri Vanavari, born January 8, 1987, is a core member of the royal family of Thailand and the only daughter of King Maha and comes from a royal family that's known for its huge wealth and greater political influence. This princess is not untouched by it. She possesses a decent amount of political power in the nation. Apart from this, she is quite famous on social media and new portals where she constantly makes headlines, and her popularity counts especially among the younger of Thai's generation. Not just for being a princess, but for her being multi-talented and successful. To count a few, she has made a significant set of contributions to the field of sports, the arts, gaining recognition both nationally and internationally. One of the princess Siri von Advari's notable achievements is her contribution to the sport of badminton. During her young age, she's represented Thailand in various international competitions, including the Southeast Asia Games and the Asia Games. Beyond her sporting achievements, Princess Siri Vanavari has also made her mark in the world of fashion. 
She has a keen eye for design for this reason and has established her fashion brand called Siri Vonavari Bangkok, which now makes millions for this young businesswoman. At number five, we have a royal who is considered the future queen of Sweden, and this is the crown princess of Sweden, Victoria, from the royal house of Bernadette. Born July 14, 1977, Victoria Ingrid Alice Desiree is the eldest child of King Charles XVI, Gustav, and Queen Sylvia. And being the firstborn of the king, she's declared the crown princess of the nation as of 1980, when she was just three years old. As the crown princess, who is next in line to inherit the throne, she's prepared for her future role with the best education that led to her overall development. As a royal, her power is primarily symbolic, as Sweden is a constitutional monarchy with a parliamentary democracy. While the political power of Swedish royal family is limited, Princess Victoria has a significant influence on the nation through her public engagements and charitable work. She's actively involved in promoting Sweden's cultural heritage and supporting various causes. Apart from charity, she's participated in numerous state visits, promoting diplomatic relations and strengthening Sweden's global presence, which led to greater approval ratings of a princess and a nation, and this is why she's become the people Sweden admire as this 45-year-old princess, as she's dedicated and hardworking as a woman and, surprisingly, unlike any other royal of her family. She has far greater political influence on the nation. Next, we have a princess who has been a former Olympic swimmer. Yes, this is the talented Charlene, the reigning princess of Monaco and head of the House of Grimaldi. Charlene Lynette Whitstock was born 1978 in Zimbabwe. But unlike the princess, she has a humble upbringing in a middle-class African family. Charlene's journey to royalty began in 2000 when she met Prince Albert II of Monaco during a swimming competition. However, she became the head of the royal family and assumed the title of Her Serene Highness when she married the Prince of Monaco in 2011. Although Her Royal Highness doesn't hold any special political power, this 45-year-old princess is more than just a princess. She's considered a celebrity in the nation, and for this reason, Charlene has become a style icon and a prominent figure in the fashion world. Her elegant fashion choices and graceful presence have attracted the attention and admiration of the global fashion community. Many designers aspire to dress her, and her influence on fashion trends in the nation is undeniable. Furthermore, as we know, Monica is known for being a playground for wealthy individuals from around the world, and being a millionaire royal herself, Charlene uses her position as princess to influence Monaco's economy by promoting the nation's luxurious lifestyle, tourism, and business sectors. At number three, we have Princess Sikanyiso Dalimini. From the small nation in Southeast Africa called Eswatini, born September 1st, 1987, she's the eldest daughter of Queen Latimbik Iza and King Mswati III the reigning monarch of Eswatini. And as we know, Eswatini is an absolute monarch nation, and the royals of the nation enjoy greater political power and economic influence. And this power is also enjoyed by this 35-year-old princess of Eswatini. In fact, she's the country's current minister of information and communication technology, which gives her a stronghold on her nation's politics. This princess has been involved in various cultural and societal incentives in Eswatini. However, she's not known for her royal lineage, but is known for her diverse talents and accomplishments. To count a few, she's a poet, singer, and actress. And as a poet, Princess Sikyon Hiso has published several collections of her work, which often revolve around the themes of love, identity, and empowerment, and has even represented Eswatini internationally through her poetry and performances. Apart from this, she's known for promoting Swazi traditions and culture, particularly through her involvement in the arts. Due to this, the people of Eswatini respect her and admire her for being a unique individual from the royal family. Next, we have the princess who's considered to be the self-made billionaire, and that is Marie Chantel, crown princess of Greece. Marie Chantel Claire Miller was born in 1968 in a non-royal but wealthy royal family where her father Robert Warren Miller is an American billionaire businessman. However, she became the princess of Greece in 1995 at the age of 27 when she married Pavlos, crown prince of Greece. But before marrying the crown prince, she was already climbing the stairs of succession by handling multiple businesses with her father. In fact, she achieved the status of millionaire before she became a princess. The current net worth of the princess is around $3 billion, which is more than any other female in the world. 
One of Marie Chantal's notable achievements is the establishment of the famous children's clothing brand, Marie Chantal, which she founded the brand in 2000, and it's gained a strong following for its timeless and elegant design. And this brand has now generated millions of dollars, which not only helped her boost her net worth, but has also helped the economy of the nation. Apart from her business pursuits, Princess Marie gives equal attention to both royal duties and her philanthropic work, and for this reason, she's become a role model for many Europeans. And this worldwide reputation popularity provides her both financial and social power in the nation. At number one, we have a royal who's come from a thousand-year-old royal house, known as the Royal House of Windsor, and this royal is Princess Kate, the crown princess of the United Kingdom. Catherine Elizabeth Middleton was born January 9, 1982, in a non-royal but wealthy family where her family, Michael Francis Middleton, is a British businessman and millionaire. Kate's journey to royalty began when she met Prince William the eldest son of King Charles, and she became the princess of the nation when she married him on April 29, 2011. But it was in 2022 that she became the crown princess and assumed greater influence. However, this influence represents the soft power that she has in the world. As a prominent member of the British royal family, Kate's every move and fashion choice is closely followed by media and fans. In fact, her influence on the fashion industry is immense, and her choices often lead to sold-out items and then spark global fashion trends. Beyond her popular appeal and fashion influence, Kate Middleton's financial power in the nation is also noteworthy. As a member of the royal family, she represents an institution that attracts significant tourism and generates substantial revenue for the UK, which is known as the Kate Effect. All this gives this 41-year-old princess not a symbolic but also a greater financial power and soft power over the nation. Thanks for watching. Comment down below your favorite part and also press the subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for regular updates.